Today, we're making forbidden slime textures, and they're gonna get even more crazy as we go on. Wait until the end, because we're gonna make the most forbidden slime texture of all time. Oh, oh my God, that hurts so oh. Our first set of forbidden slimes are gonna be ones that kind of just make you a little bit uncomfortable. So our first one is googly eyes. I have a bunch of these tiny googly eyes. We're just gonna pour all these in, and hopefully it makes like an interesting texture. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna take the slime out first. Oh gosh and hopefully it mixes in together. This slime is kind of cursed cause you know, googly eyes are a little bit sharp and frankly, just a slime made of eyes is just really creepy looking. Did you hear the ASMR? Out of 10, this one, it's giving like a one to two on the forbidden scale. It just looks kind of weird, but it doesn't feel like terrible. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to feel like slime is looking back at me when I'm playing with it. I'm uncomfortable guys. Let's move on to the next one. Our second one in the first tier is these glass beads. So these are typically used in like planners. These ones are going to feel kind of weird. I picked a nice green color because I just feel like it complemented the uh, blue. So let's pour this slime out and let's pour some glass beads on here. Let's just fold the slime over. Oh yeah. I don't like that half of these beads have this really rough texture and then also some of them have this smooth texture, but they're also just like kind of too big to like mix in and play with slime. You know, like they need to be a little bit smaller. Let's just see what it feels like. Oh, I love that, that they're falling out. That's not dangerous at all. It's a friendly reminder. Please don't do this at home. Thank you very much. Another thing is that when you like pull it together and then try to squeeze it, you know, like the beads are big enough where I feel like it could like pinch your skin. Like that's not a good thing to have. And the fact that they continually fall out, like what's up with that? Why don't they stick? This is definitely more uncomfortable than the eye slime. This one is giving me the ick. On to the next one. This one is actually disgusting. I spent an entire month saving my nail clippings. This is what I came up with. And so we're gonna throw this into slime. We got this beautiful yellow clear slime. I think the nail trimmings are just gonna be absolutely perfect for it. It might be a little bit grotesque, but it's tasteful in some ways. So let's just douse this this whole entire thing with nail. Oh my God, that is just so much. Just fold it over like a like a little sandwich, a little papadilla action. This feels actually amazing. I don't care how gross it is. I love this so much. I'm getting it on myself. That's disgusting. Oh, look at that. Mix that together. Ooh, yes. Gotta absorb more of this. We need this to be 100% nail trimming for it to be a, a good slime texture. To some people, it would be, you know, a forbidden or banned slime texture. To me, this is just perfection. Not gonna lie, the nails feel kind of sharp. Like, I really don't like that. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I would have to say this is 100% a nail slime texture. Yeah, on a list of forbidden slimes, this one is definitely up there. The low key kind of feels kind of good. In all seriousness, guys, this one's actually disgusting. I was just joking around. This should not be a slime that should be made. We're on tier two of forbidden slime. So these are slimes that are just kind of like more annoying than uncomfortable. Our first one is these jingle bells. So we have these little tiny bells with the things in there. You know, it's all like Christmassy and everything like that. But like, first off, do you want to hear how annoying it sounds? Like, I don't want that in my slime, but I made a slime that was kind of Christmassy themed. Let's pull it out. Let's pour all of these bells on. And I'm curious. Oh, there we go if the bell will stop inside of it if we mix slime, you know? I want to be able to hear the jingle bells. So let's mix these together. Oh, that's so, that's so weird. Oh, it changes the tone. It kind of goes back to the glass beads. It's like too big to play with. Not to mention how seasonal this is. Like you can only use this slime around Christmas. And I'm like, let's try to pull it together. All right, do a few stretches, not terrible. Wait, it barely has the ringing anymore. So a bunch of the slime got in, so it's already ruined. And if you mix the green and red, look at that. That's not that pretty, that's not festive. This slime starts off as being the most annoying slime in the world, and now it's just straight up dysfunctional. So I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. Get this slime out of my sights. Our next horrific slime is money. This is gonna be used as our texture. Now, Andrea has done this a ton before. Now I'm gonna be using fake money, but I swear I've seen her use real money. She's like put like crumpled up like a thousand dollars in the slime. Let's go make our money slime. This is fake money, but it does look pretty darn real. So let's crumple that baby up, put that in there into our money slime. $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
get it in the slime, get it mixing. That actually looks really cool. That looks gangster. Let's mix this together. Okay, so far, it's just kind of making a glob of the slime. I don't think this is really that good of a texture. Like, and why is it doing that? None of the other slimes did that, so maybe there's something weird where it's like, look it, I can just pull the slime out and then the money. All right, we just broke a $100 bill in half. How did she do this? This is no bueno. I wonder if it's because Andrea used the mixer that it kind of just dissolved the money a bit. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of 10. Cause it's just way too expensive and not even worth it. This is the most evil texture that we have yet. Scrub Daddy. The reason why it's so evil is that you have to kill and cut out the Scrub Daddies, and that's just too evil. We can't do that. However, let's just say before the beef ended, Andrea went a little crazy. Scrub Daddy, if you're seeing this, just make sure to cover your eyes. So let's mix it together. We're actually on good terms with Scrub Daddy now. We settled the beef. That's why it's okay to use it. So now let's just mix these in. It should make kind of like a crunchy texture. Cause you know, Scrub Daddies, they have like that weird, like, I don't even know what this stuff is made out of, but it's just cool. And let's mix that together. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, there's a crunch there. The sponginess of it like allows air to get into it and then creates those kind of like air bubbles, which is pretty awesome. Whoa, you heard that one. That one was good. We don't want you to cut up your scrub daddies to make this slime texture. Just enjoy your slime as it is. But I'm gonna have to rate this one. It's like a six out of 10, but don't do it. We're in the danger zone for our forbidden slimes. This one is Lego slime. Everybody knows how much Legos hurt when you step on them. So squeezing them together in slime, that's gonna be even more painful. Please do not try this one at home. We're doing it so you don't have to. We have some very nice pastel Legos. And now we're, I'm just gonna take a glob of slime and kind of dab it in there as they say. Lather it up with some Legos. What an interesting sentence that one is. Look at that, there we go. Absorb all of the Legos. This one sucks. I hate this. This is not a good texture. This one feels awful. The jagged edges on this one, like might as well just take a rock and squeeze it. A while ago, we had a slime for sale that was $10,000. It was a Lego slime. And the reason why it was that much money, it was kind of more of like a fine arts thing that you just kind of like look at and enjoy, not actually enjoy with your hands. This is a slime you don't enjoy with your hands. This is a slime you just enjoy looking at, preferably behind a display case. Now this one, you genuinely do not want to do this at home. This one is actually dangerous. I'm literally going to be wearing gloves. I'm even going to be wearing an extra glove for protection. So this stuff is called diamond dust and it's typically used for crafting and scrapbooking. And it's essentially just little tiny shards of glass. If you like move it together like this, it can actually like kind of, you know, stick onto your fingers. And again, it's not what you want with slime. So that's why it's a forbidden texture. So we are gonna put it in this beautiful blue thing of slime. And we are just gonna cover this thing with uh, some diamond dust. So please do not do this at home. So let's cover it up. It actually looks super pretty. Kind of just looks like snow. Yeah, the sparkle on it. Let's flip this over. Absorb all the diamond dust, please. I think this one we just kind of kind of mix together. Yeah, the way the light hits it, it's super shimmery. It's really beautiful. If it was like somehow not just little things of glass, it would be like super pretty ASMR. Let's keep getting a little bit more on here. Yeah, my biggest fear would be if I squeeze this and then it would like stab into me, which would be, uh, that would be no good. So this is why um, this stuff was, is dangerous is because that little shard right there would be just like essentially sticking to my palm, which is not good. That is not safe. But one thing that is very cool with this slime, which I don't think I've ever seen before, is that it actually like makes the slime look rough. Our snow fizz kind of has that look, but it literally looks like jagged. Like this looks insane. I don't know how to describe it. Literally looks like ice. But again, it's forbidden ice, so do not use this stuff. But I'm gonna rate this slime minus the fact that it could potentially hurt my hand. This one is like a seven out of 10, but you never want sharp things in your slime. Our final most extreme forbidden slime is thumbtacks. Now we've actually put thumbtacks in slime for TikTok before, but uh, never this many. For obvious reasons, please do not do this one at home. I'm gonna be wearing gloves and I'm gonna be playing it with very gently so I don't hurt myself. But yeah, I mean, obviously this is a ridiculous thing to add into slime and that's why it is forbidden. So don't do it. So let's take out this clear slime base and pour all of these. Oh, I could like stick them all in like this. This would be so cool if there were, weren't, you know, these giant spikes on the end of these clear beads. I'm actually kind of vibing with this slime. There's some like symbolism going on here. You know, it's like pretty, but also like you gotta be careful. All right, I'm gonna do a little, little hand press action. 
Okay, we're good, we're good. So I'm wearing padded protective gloves, so please do not do this at home. I am doing this to be safe. So let's do our fold. Whoa, looks, it actually looks oddly really cool. Like it's kind of pretty. Look at that, the ASMR. Kind of like it. Low key, the clear beads and with like the gold, it looks kind of fancy. All right, I'm gonna do the first pull ever with a push pin slime. That's like a really oddly pretty. I was not expecting this slime to be this cool. It's like, you know, every rose that's beautiful has its thorns, so you gotta be careful with it. You know, it's giving those types of vibes. But so far, it's been all right. You know, I've been playing with it slowly, so I have not punctured the glove yet. But look at that, so you can see the slime kind of covering it. Oh, it's so pretty. As a slime professional, I'm using my ways to make sure that uh, I play with this slime, you know, safely and also efficiently. It's time to do some finger pokes. Oh, okay, be careful. Ah, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, okay, that's enough of that. It's a zero out of 10 with playing with it, but a 10 out of 10 in beauty. Thumbtacks and slime is a true crime against humanity. I don't recommend anyone doing this. There you have it. These are the most forbidden slimes of all time. And a reminder, please do not try this at home. I'm a professional and we'll see you next time.